Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. What is written in the stars for you? In a moment, I'm going to show you the three stars for you to choose from. And if you need to pause the video, go for it. But I'm going to, I run that for about nine seconds anyway, which is generally a good amount of time for you to decide which one sticks out for you. Um, and I've already got a bunch of cards pulled. And of course, I'm going to use my bag of fortunes here. And yeah, so here are the three stars. Again, thank you for being here. And please choose one. And I'm going to get right into the first one. So hello to those of you who've chosen star number one. Thank you for being here. So we're going to start with, I've got, like I said in the intro, I've got a few uh, cards from a few decks with me. So the first three that I've pulled is from the Starseed Oracle. You will notice that these decks sort of have a theme. Celestial. I don't have too many decks that are celestial in nature. So using what I got. <laughs> so the first card we have here, Lost Lands. And I'll read, um, you know, what's on the card, of course, in a moment. Oh, come on. This one doesn't want to go. Earth Pulsing. I've never pulled this card at all for myself or otherwise. Pretty. Trust the timing. Oh, that is... <laughs> You know, never mind that you just, you, you've chosen star number one. I mean, I feel like that, that just goes for everyone on this planet, <laughs> for everything. Okay, so, so looking at this Lost Lands, okay, so it says soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. Um, yeah, I mean, we've all got, we've all got those karmic experiences and patterns and beliefs or whatever. We may have like repeated things from this lifetime itself, right? But there's also, I feel like residual, residual feelings, residual things, you know, from past lives that gets carried on because, hey, maybe our soul didn't learn whatever we were supposed to learn in a previous lifetime, right? So we get the chance to do so now. But oftentimes during such a process, you often feel lost. And that's what I get with this card is that like this sense of like not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. And I feel like for some of you, this is literally going to apply to like your life in general. You may have felt recently like, you know, the, the rug was torn beneath, uh, with, beneath your feet, right? Like you just, your world sort of fell apart or just some area of your life fell apart. It was a big enough area that like it created a tower moment. And I, and I call it a tower moment because, you know, there's the tarot car, tower, tower card in the tarot deck. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and so, you know, that's usually like, you know, it depicts like lightning striking a tower and it starts to crumble. Um, tower moments, though, aren't a bad thing because it shows you what actually was not working for you to begin with. You may have thought like it was for you or that like things were going great, but in reality, underneath it, the foundation wasn't good at all. And that's why it's come crashing down. But so, so oftentimes when that happens, after the crash happens, you kind of lost, like you got to like sort of pick up the pieces, but then you're like, well, do I pick up these pieces or do I just start fresh? Usually it's better to start fresh, but I feel like some of you are in this lost, this sort of like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing type of phase. I feel like you just got to go with it and you have to trust the timing of things. This land, if you look on the card, this land looks kind of bare. I mean, yes, there's like a few, you know, structures here and there, but overall it's barren. So it's like, you may look at, you may now look at your life like, yeah, but I, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to go. I, is there options? I guess there's options, but like, do I like those options? Are those really for me? There's a lot of what ifs, there's a lot of questions, there's a sneeze coming on, oh, okay, we'll see if it makes its way, okay, um, but you, got, you have to understand that nothing presents itself 
in the physical world until it is created energetically in the energetic side of the world okay like it has to start as energy before it creates manifests into physical form okay so your your landscape right now may look kind of barren and you don't know what the hell you're doing but that's because like the experiences the new job the new home the new relationship what have you hasn't materialized yet it's still it's still in, in the energetic phase it's still creating that way okay so you have to trust the timing of things and what may seem like something is not good timing when in fact it generally is okay but we often don't really look at that until well after the fact uh, but so the trust the timing it says trust the wave you came in on time is not running out I do also hear like really like what you've been putting out to the world like out to the universe like you're going to receive it it really is just a matter of time it's not going to pass you by with the earth pulsing card uh, pulse of the mother slow down time and nature so like right now if you are sort of in that space of wondering what the fuck to do do exactly what as it says slow down literally take time in nature rest now a lot of people don't look as rest as being productive uh because we you know we live in a society we live in a world where everything's like go 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 and accomplish this and do this and whatever um here's the thing though rest is actually more productive than productivity like rest if you can rest you give yourself the energy and the immune support and the stamina and everything to be able to go and do whatever it is you have to do if you if your body is not even rested you're going to get sick and then you'll be forced to deal with your sickness because you didn't take time for your wellness okay so rest is like insanely crucial like insanely crucial guys okay you have to rest so right now I feel like I have something in my teeth so like right now literally like do as those cards say take time to rest all right that's what you're meant to do right now if you don't know what else to do it's because like you're you're meant to not do anything that's it that's actually as simple as it is don't make it harder than it is you just you just you just be just be the next card we have here is from the Moonology deck. Believe in the impossible, Blue Moon. And we all know Blue Moons come around every once in a while. It's generally the second full moon in a month. That's what a Blue Moon is. Um, and they come around actually fairly more often than you think, right? <laughs> um, so while you are in this waiting this holding phase right now right you're in the hallway you have like one door closed you've got you've got other doors in the hallway maybe some of them are actually open maybe a lot of them are actually closed and you're just sort of like I, I don't know where to go I feel like take this time while you're in that hallway it's okay to be in that hallway take this time to dream of the life that you want even if it seems out of reach even if it does seem impossible um, a lot of things that seem impossible are just that seem they seem impossible when they're actually not at all that when we say something is impossible that shows us our own limitations the limitations we actually place on ourselves okay so I feel like and what did I say in the beginning that nothing can actually materialize in physical form until it's first created energetically so dream put the energy out there to create something into physical form even if you think your dreams are out of reach I also feel like right now because this is a full moon right here I feel like you need to really focus on your intuition really listen to that voice inside sometimes it'll scream oftentimes it's more quiet um, but I feel like listen to that because it, it will steer you in the direction you are supposed to go in okay right now a lot of you may need to rest though you have to understand that, that that's the direction you need to be in at the moment the next few cards we have here is from the psychic tarot deck we have here number 11 11 is my favorite number balance I love that mm. you know I had a feeling when I was pulling these cards 
like the past few videos, uh, regardless of whether it was like a love video or whatnot, number ones, the number ones um, pile always had something to do with love. And I was thinking, I was like, ah, I think number one again is going to come up with love. Love begins. And it's number one. There's a, look at these ones. So we have the number 11. We have a number one, love begins. We have another number one, base chakra. Holy shit. So the base chakra though makes sense though about feeling like, so the base chakra, that's, that's your root chakra. And that really is about feeling like stable and secure and grounded in life and having like a foundation, being able to move forward. Okay, so if you feel like the opposite of that, okay, you may actually need to do some work to your base chakra, your root chakra. You may need to, you know, go get a Reiki treatment or something like that, or take a bunch of carnelian stones, place them at your um, root chakra and just kind of lay there, let the stones, let the energy, the vibrations of the stone do its work. I feel like um, once you can align yourself to feel secure, then you will find the rest of your world falling into that secure place. It, that's usually how it actually goes. I know everyone's like, no, I'll, I'll feel better once this happens. No, you actually have to, you have to get on board because if, if you're wishing for something to happen first, that means you're actually not aligned to it. So you have to align yourself energetically, emotionally, mentally to what you want. And then all that actually appears. Okay. Yes. But love is coming in for you and oh it's gonna create a beautiful balance it's gonna be harmony i know that there is a card in this deck called harmony but oh the the energy i get with this like it's just it's light it's light it's uplifting it's like where the hell where the hell have you been all my life <laughs> that's literally what i get with that i do feel this is in the form of a person that like you are going to be meeting like your divine counterpart and oftentimes Something really great comes in after we have done the work, after we have gone through an emotional experience and felt our lives have gotten tripped up somewhere, right? And then it comes in and I feel like that's about to happen. I also feel some of you are about to enter like a new line of work that actually is going to bring a whole lot of this in, okay? And you're actually going to like it a hell of a lot more than you think you do or than you think you will, I should say. Um, so... I, yes, number ones, I like this, and it's happening soon, like, the ones are all about, like, new beginnings, uh, really watching your thoughts, okay, because, like, what you really think about a lot, you're, you're going to manifest, okay, so, really watching your thoughts, but things are happening soon, you are coming into a beautiful love in more ways than one, okay, so your, your door, you're in that hallway, your door, man, it's opening. Okay. The next card we have here is from the Natural Enchantments deck. It's an autumn card. 44, the harvest. Oh my God, you guys. You, you guys have been doing the work. You have been putting the work in, healing in ways that like, you're just, you're just healing. You're just healing in all ways and you're about to reap what you sow. Oh my goodness, guys. Seeds have been planted. You have been dreaming and putting it out to the universe. And oh, honey, they, the universe is answering. Okay. Like the universe is answering the call. Never mind you answering the call. The universe is answering the call back. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck. Cause it's just, it, I look at this, like it's just good things to come. 44 also, um, Part of an angel number angels are around you you've got a lot of support around you at this time not just the angelic but like just those in you know the ethers okay so whoever you you um choose to meditate with or what not reach out to like it's all good i love this oh my god i'm so happy you guys chose number one i look at these cards as sort of like a past present future it's like and some of you may still be like I said, stuck in that hallway or just had a tower moment or whatnot. But I feel like the majority of you are already coming out of it. Either way, y'all are coming into this and it's just a matter of timing. It's just a matter of timing. But it's coming. Like, it's meant for you. It is, when I said, like, if, you know, it's not going to pass you by, I mean that. 
Okay, one more card we have here is from the Universal Wisdom deck. Rest. Can't make this shit up. This says rest. What did I tell you guys to do right now? This. Exactly this. I don't even need to like elaborate on this. This is so self-explanatory. I'm going to sound like a broken record if I have to keep repeating myself. You guys don't understand how important this is. I mean, if you think of it, like you take all the time to like, if you're starting a garden, you take all the time to like plant the seeds, right? You, you sow and you plant and whatnot. Like, but you don't check the seeds like every other day, right? To see if it's starting to sprout and grow. Like you let it do its, do its thing. You rest. That's when the harvest comes. It's after you rest. After you've put in all the work and you can now rest, boom. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And a lot of the, the colors in this card, we've got like some reds, pinks, oranges, yellow. So the lower chakras. So give yourself some love right now. Pink, pink does, re I'm wearing pink. Pink relates to the heart chakra anyway. So give yourself some love right now. Literally like your, I feel like your body and your brain wants to rest right now. So allow that, okay? Take some time for self-care and nurturing. Like it will do you a world of good. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. We're gonna pull a fortune. Come on. So right now, rest is written in the stars for you guys, but so is harvest and love. So, ooh, okay, we're going down here. We're going down here. Nope, I want this one. Oh, I think this might've been one I just put in this morning. It's from um, a tea bag. So, Earth Laughs in Flowers by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Earth Laughs in Flowers. Um, it's true though, I mean, because flowers are really, oh, it's, it's gonna be blurry, it's gonna be blurry. My camera doesn't wanna focus at all. Um, that's kind of true though, like it's, I mean, fa flowers are beautiful and even ones that you may not think are all that pretty, <laughs> right, they're still beautiful. They bring color and and scent, into beautiful scent into the world, right? Um, and the earth provides that and that type of beauty, it's, it's an abundant wavelength. It's an abundant vibration, much like laughter. Laughter is an abundant vibration, okay? So try to get yourself onto that wavelength so that like this can come in just a little bit faster, though I feel like it's just gonna come in when it's supposed to anyways. <laughs> Um, allow yourself to laugh like I just did. I laugh at myself all the damn time. I think I'm hilarious sometimes. Um, but so allow yourself to laugh and you will find like even your energy lifts and that helps you to deal with, you know, everything else around you. So, oh my God, I love that. And this is a tea bag from the, um, the company Traditional Medicinals uh, Teas. So Earth Laughs in Flowers by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Beautiful. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. You've got you've got harvest and love coming in for you guys. You you do. You've got some good things coming in. Uh, that's definitely written in the stars for you. You just go through a period of rest right now. Okay, allow it. Just be present. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this, please comment, like it, share it with others, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello and welcome to those of you who've chosen star number two. All right, so I've got a few cards here. We're gonna start off uh, with a few cards from the Star Seed Oracle deck. You'll notice all my cards have a uh, little theme going on here. Okay, we got a new earth. I hear with that a new way of life. I will read the rest of the words in a moment. Star family. I don't think I've pulled that card for myself at all. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. Uh, Hirith. H-I-R-A-E-T-H. Hirith. Hirath. Not too sure how to pronounce that. Uh, that says on the bottom, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Okay, the, these cards definitely go together. Star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Okay, and then a new earth. It's happening keep holding the vision. All right. So I feel like a lot of you really want to like basically just move on. You want to basically move on. Maybe some of you actually do want like 
a new home, okay? You want to move out, um, maybe you're thinking of buying a home or hell, renting, doesn't matter. Like you just, you would really like to go like physically from one location to another. I also feel though, this is also saying like in general in your life that like it's written in the stars, like a change is coming for you, a relocation, okay? Physical, residential relocation. But I also feel like also like on the work front that like you're gonna be doing like a new line of work or just, you know, for all I know, you could be in the same company, but like different job, different position. Um, or some of you really getting out of, we'll say the nine to five and becoming your own boss or something like that. Um, a lot of changes happening. I also feel like even heart wise, relationship wise, if you find your current relationships, whether romantic or friend or whatnot, just aren't working, then it's supposed to, then that's how it's supposed to be right now. Allow that to happen. Don't fight it. Um, because new, new is coming in, especially where it says here star family okay like i feel like you whether it's work whether it's friend whether it's romantic like you are coming into um just new people okay your, your tribe is going to um expand just a little bit and you're just you're opening yourself up okay and it's going to be beautiful it's a process for sure things like that do generally take time um, but it's, this is going to be wonderful, you guys. Okay. And I feel like a lot of these people, like they're going to help you. Like they're coming in. If you look at it, these are like souls, like coming in to the planet. Like they're coming in. Uh, what I actually also feel with this is, this, um, this is only going to apply to a few of you. If that, uh, if you've been wanting to start a family, this is confirmation that that's coming for you. The souls of the unborn are literally making its way to you, okay? They're, I feel like right now, they're still out there in the ethers and they're going over the soul contract for this lifetime of theirs that they're about to enter, all right? So they're tweaking the contract right now. <laughs> as soon as they get that right, then they're gonna, they're gonna step, they're gonna make the way in and be like, okay, it's time to be born. Uh, so yes, some of you are definitely going to be welcoming a new addition to the family very soon. Um, I love that. I know it says in here call and support, but I, I feel like you don't really need to call. You can, if you want to, I just, I feel like you have the support around you already here in the physical world, but also in the energetic, angelic, you know, ethereal realm as well. So I love that, but, and I'm, and with the new earth, I mean, so there, for some of you, uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you have seen other videos, possibly on YouTube, about a new earth being um, created, and that's already in the process of coming along. Like, there is there is another earth being made right now. Um, I'm not going to get into it in this video, okay? But this is, on that level, this is confirmation saying, like, yes, like, it's happening, and you will be going to the new earth, okay? But for a lot of you, this is more like just saying, like, a new home, a change is coming here in the works for you. The change is already occurring. Um, it's just like, you know, timing. It just hasn't popped up just yet, but like it's it's there, okay? Like this is confirmation, like letting you know, don't worry, like it's timing. I don't know if you were also thinking of, look, of choosing between star number one, but uh, one of the key messages with the number one pile was trusting the timing, excuse me. And I, and I said, when I saw that card, I was like, oh my God, that's just a message for everyone. Like, never mind, you know, you guys, star number one. Like, this is a message, and it is, it's a message for everyone. It's like things that you want to happen, like, it takes time. It just does. And it's not that you're not going to run out of time. Everything that is meant for you, like, you will come into because it's meant for you. Okay. So understand that. Um, but yeah, you may be at this space right now where you're like, you're longing for, a new home you're longing for a relationship you're long, longing for more money you're longing just for change these cards are letting you know like that whatever that is it's happening for you okay next card we have here is from the moonology deck step out of your comfort zone north node all right so what i hear with this is if you want to make those changes like, if you want those changes to happen now or just faster, even though I say, like, trust the timing, like, if you kind of want to, like, speed it along and really get yourself in alignment with what with what you want, 
Um, I feel like it is going to require you to step out of your comfort zone in some way, shape or form. You know, maybe like you, you know, regarding relationships, maybe you have, um, and this is just like an image I see in my head that you've been doing the online thing. You've been doing like the online dating or trying to do the online dating for like years and you're just, you hit a wall, right? Like you just, nothing, nothing, nothing good is coming of it. Well, that's your comfort zone because you've been doing it for so long, but maybe you have to like physically get yourself out. Like go and just, I don't know, every day, every other day, just get yourself out. Go to, go shopping. I don't know. Go ask a few friends and go bowling. Like I, to me, there's just something about you, you have, if you want love, go and do something different than you would normally do. If you want a new job or if you want like more money, try out something that maybe you wouldn't normally do. You may find that you end up liking it. You may also find that, hey, it's not for you, but something else comes along as you're trying that and you're like, oh, that. But that something else wouldn't have come along unless you were, you had already stepped out of your comfort zone. Do you understand that? Um, there's always a reason to step out of your comfort zone and it is to shake things up. Oftentimes, Things don't really come into our world like, well, unless it's supposed to. I mean, if an opportunity appears, that means it was supposed to be there, okay? And sometimes people come in to shake things up in your world, but you have to be willing to accept that and you have to be willing to step out of the box and out of the comfort zone. Comfort zone is a great place to be. It's comfortable, but nothing ever grows there, okay? And you're not gonna find the experiences that you truly want solely in your comfort zone. So expand your comfort zone, widen it, open it up, start including, you know, try it one to two times a week, include something new into your comfort zone so that it expands. Okay. Does that make sense? I like that. The next few cards we have here is from the psychic tarot deck. We have here number three, heartache and loss. A lot of blue in this card. I'm getting um, a lot of throat chakra stuff. Okay, number seven, crown chakra. Okay, we got the crown chakra stuff. <laughs> and 17 or an eight, hope. So some of you may, may be going through this or have been going through this, okay? That just on some level, something has been lost. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe a relationship fell through. Like, what you know, loss can come in many forms. Um... And yes, obviously it, it can absolutely sting. Absolutely. Um, if you want to try to work through that situation or if you want to move through that situation fairly quickly, then you have to just feel it. Allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to grieve. You know, allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to scream and curse, whatever. You know, like to me, it, it, you, have to, you, have to, you have to feel it to heal it. If you keep pushing it back or kind of like, oh, Mm -mm. you're actually delaying the process of being able to move forward. Okay. I also feel like, you know, that <laughs> the crown chakra crown and third eye, they go hand in hand. And it also allows you with the inner knowing, um, really focusing on your intuition. I do feel like, like, especially with this hope card, this is kind of like, you're, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel clouded anymore. You know what's written in the stars for you guys? Clarity. Okay, it's coming in for you. A shining light, a new way, a new opportunity to, to start living the life that you really want. All right, that's coming in for you. That's written in the stars. I feel like you sort of know that, like especially with this, you sort of know like something is coming, but that it wouldn't have come in unless something had fallen through first. Okay, because maybe just there was no room. Maybe there was just no room for whatever this new is. It ha and, and this new I'm feeling is better, better than you could imagine. Okay, and that's a reason to have hope anyways. But plus also the 17, reducing, right, 17, yes. Reducing to an eight. Eight is a very prosperous number. It is like money, okay? Um, so I'm not going to be surprised if like a lot of you, you know, recently lost your job. Well, a new opportunity is coming in. And like I said, it's going to be better than you think you're going to be making more money than you think you are. Okay. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like finances are, are getting in order. Okay. So I like that. Finances are getting in order. The 
Fog is lifting. Um, the next card we have here is from the Natural Enchantments deck. It's a summer card. 28 or a 1, the action. Yep, things are moving forward. New opportunities coming in for you. Things are going to move forward now. You're, you're getting out of this foggy space and feeling lost and wondering what the hell is going on and what you should be doing. Okay, you're getting, you're getting out of that. You're getting out of this one here. It says longing for home. Okay, homesick. So to me, it's like you're, what you've been wanting is coming in for you. And this is letting you know things are starting to move forward. Okay. I love that. I also love that I was able to capture a squirrel in the air <laughs> mid mid hop, <laughs> mid leap. Um, but yeah, so this is I think just a short confirmation. But it, I feel like you could take this literally like things are are now moving along. Okay, if an opportunity presents itself to you, like I just just go for it. You're letting the universe know that you want to start saying yes, that you want new opportunities coming in, even if you're really unsure about like whatever this new opportunity is, even you're kind of like, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. I don't know. Like, say yes anyway. Okay. There's probably something there that you need to learn for all, you know, you could meet your next partner through your new job, whatever it is. Okay. Maybe that's the reason you have to say yes. Maybe it's not for money at all. Maybe it's for love. Okay. So, or maybe it's, it's a job that will get you to move to a new home. And whether the job stays or not, all right, whatever. But oftentimes new opportunities come in for a reason that you can't see yet. You can't see till after the fact, all right? So just be open. Start saying yes to opportunities. It lets the universe know, like, all right, she's aligning herself now. She's aligning herself to the life that she wants. She don't even realize it because she just said yes, and she's going for it, even if she has no idea what the fuck is going on, all right? Next card we have here from the Universal Wisdom deck, Love. Guys, it's coming in for you. I, love came up for um, pile number one, for star number one. Love is coming in for a lot of us. Love in multiple forms, okay? So, you know, whether it is like a new home you're really going to love or, you know, a new job you're actually really going to love. I do get romantic love with this. Um, and there is a sense like a blooming, get the butterflies here. So... You definitely have been going through a transformation for sure. I also feel like the other person, your counterpart coming in, they've been going through a transformation for sure. That's, but now the timing is right. So they're coming in and they're going to be adding themselves to, where is it? Your star family. Okay. They're supposed to. I love that. They're supposed to be in your life. But I feel like it's coming in. Um... Say yes. Like I said, say yes to an opportunity that makes its way in. You know, you may have like, you may be asked to help a friend out at like a job or something or some event. Say yes, because okay, maybe you get paid for it. Beautiful. But maybe you end up meeting someone. Like, just start saying yes. Okay, because if you start saying no, that actually tells the universe you're not aligned. You're not aligning yourself to what you actually want. The, you have to put in a little bit of work. The universe, if, if, if the universe, if the angels, gods, goddesses, if they see that like you're, like you're, you're tr like you're being true to yourself, like you're like, okay, she really wants it. Like just put in a little bit of work. Show them that like that's what you want. That's what you want. And then they will conspire with you to make it happen. But if you constantly, if you just say no and you just like, you just stay home and do nothing and you literally keep yourself in your comfort zone, you're not going to, it's going to take forever to get what you actually want. Okay. So, but this is coming in for you guys. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh man. I hope like star number three gets love as well. <laughs> Let's keep that going. Right. All right. I'm going to pull a fortune from this bag. What do we got here? Okay. One from PF Chang's. You will discover the truth in time. And yes, okay, so I don't know if it's going to be all that clear. I don't know if my camera wants to focus. Um, so like when I said like if you say yes now, right, it could lead to something else. That's what this is saying. It's like like you'll discover, you'll discover the reason behind said opportunity coming in. You'll discover the reason you said yes to this in time. You may think it's just 
to get you more money, like a new job or something like that, when no, the real reason actually could be this. <laughs> Okay, like, oh my God, like it's true. You will discover the truth in time. Things do take time, but ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. I feel like you just take that literally. I also feel like if you're questioning something right now, um, or you may feel like, I don't know, if just some, someone's just not really being authentic um, with you, whatever, um, I feel like you know, what is being hidden from you will be revealed, okay? Especially about another person um, that just, it, it, I feel like really you you will find out and, it, and you won't have to like put in the work for it. Like the truth will just come to you, okay? So just sort of be open to that. But yeah, great message. Love it. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, comment on it, share it with others, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to those of you who've chosen star number three. Let's get started. I've got a few cards here pulled from the Starseed Oracle deck. We have here the Courageous Peony. I'll read, you know, what's uh, the rest on. Jesus, I can't talk. I'll read the rest <laughs> in a moment. Activated Earth. Aren't these such beautiful cards? I love the colors. Starkeeper. Love the colors in that one. I'm always drawn to, like, teal is my favorite color. So anything that looks like teal. I love it. So this one actually says, uh, for Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestor, seed the light by staying grounded. Yes. I'm feeling a lot of you are a channel. Okay. That's actually, I look at this as like the light is kind of, the information is streaming in. It's, it's being downloaded into them. Um, um, I feel like some of you really are a channel. Okay. Um, that's what you, that's what's written in the stars for you. If you've, if you've been wanting to kind of learn how to do this, uh, if you've been wanting to learn how to connect to those who had passed, like your ancestors, this one says ancestor here, cosmic ancestor, so ancestor energy, um, I feel like you, you are open, okay? You are open, you're able to receive messages, download them, upload them, <laughs> transmute them. Um, so yeah, so I feel like this is confirmation kind of saying that. That's not going to apply to all of you, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest but I feel like you are very much open right now. Um, I feel like some of you are going to need to write down just any insight or visions or whatnot you get, including dreams, if you remember them. Um, I just, I do, I feel like you just need to, you need to start writing things down. And through channeling, you may also um, be doing automatic writing. I'm not good at automatic writing. I've tried it more than once and I don't really take to it. Um, but you'll find what, what you take too, and that's okay. So activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Okay. So allowing, surrendering, allowing and accepting what is being presented to you. You know, you may find that like you were trying or you were interested in like one type of job or one type of company, but then you all of a sudden you find like this opportunity you know, for whatever it is to do something else completely, or maybe it's to work for a completely different company. Maybe it like just plopped itself right in front of you and you're like, but maybe that's the direction you're supposed to go in because it presented itself to you. Opportunities do not present themselves to you unless they were supposed to be there. Okay. Nothing ever happens unless it's supposed to happen, unless it's supposed to be there. All right. Understand that. So I feel like this card is like saying like, Release the reins of control just a little bit. Um, but if, if, if you are one day feeling called to like, I don't know, go to the library or something, I know that's random, but that's just what popped into my head. If you feel called to like go to the library one day, get yourself and go to the library. Maybe there's, maybe you end up finding a book that actually like intrigues you and some, on something you've been wanting to learn for years. And I don't know, you just haven't. Now you're like, oh, oh, here we go. Or maybe you meet someone there. And you guys hit it off, right? Like, I feel like if you get these little sparks of inspiration, trust, trust that and just go with it. 
Even if you don't know why, who cares? You don't know why. That's fine. Do it anyway. All right. Uh, for the Courageous Peony, it says multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. So this is a little bit of a, a repetitive message for from um, star messages uh, number two uh, about being seen, about getting yourself out, uh, out of your comfort zone. Um, we've all done enough quarantining, <laughs> okay? We've all done enough. If there is something that like you want, if you want like a new relationship, if you want a new job, if you want a new place to live, get yourself physically out. Go and physically meet people. Go and physically like apply to jobs. Like go to the job and ask for an application. Um, or if you're looking for a place to live, like go start driving around, see what neighborhoods really stick out to you. Like to me, I, you have to get yourself out, okay? And where it says like, you know, be seen, there are, I feel like if you can at least do that, there are going to be people that will help you. And it's not going to be hard. It, it, like, it's not going to be difficult, okay? It's actually going to be pretty easy. Once you can just, like, kind of get yourself going, you're just going to find. People are just going to start, like, offering advice and, and, you know, you won't even have to ask for it. But it'll, like, help answer questions that you may have. Okay, so... That's really what I get with that is also this is the courageous peony like it does take courage to get yourself out of your comfort zone or to go and do something different. I say like I tell people when they when people have come to me saying like oh they're they're scared or anxious you know their anxiety kicks anxiety kicks in you know when they want to like go and do something I usually just say okay great be scared but go and do it anyway. Like, don't wait till all of a sudden your anxiety goes away. Like, that very well just could not happen. <laughs> and oftentimes, the anxiety doesn't actually go away until you go and do the thing that scares you. Until you overcome it. So go ahead. Be scared. Go do it anyway. Like, go. Also, you're an adult. Go. <laughs> I don't want to say, like, don't baby yourself all the time. But, like, come on. Give yourself a little kick in the ass. Go. <laughs> and laugh about it along the way. All right. Oftentimes, we make experiences and situations bigger than what they actually are. And then, like, you know, you look at it, you know, in hindsight, and you're like, oh, that really wasn't so bad. No shit. <laughs> That's why I say to just go and do it anyway. Go. <laughs> All right, uh, your next card we have here is from the Moonology deck. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Yes. We had a new moon right now. I don't even know what, I don't even know what moon phase we're in right now. I don't keep track of the moon cycles. I feel like I should, but I don't. Um, communication is key. Yes. I, so I look at this card now, where is it? The Star Keeper card versus Cosmic Ancestor, okay? And as you can see, like a direct like line of communication from the universe, right? I look at this as like, be clear on what you want with yourself especially, but also with the universe, okay? Because you, oftentimes when things aren't, like the things that we want in our life aren't actually in our life yet, um, one, it does take time, okay? But a lot of that time um, is because we aren't aligned to it. So to get yourself really aligned to it, like you have to really be clear on what it is like you want, okay? And you really have to like, say like you want a new house. Okay, well, look, look at your life now. Look at how you're living and look at your finances for that matter. It, it, and look inside and see like, okay, like, do you actually feel you can live in a new space right now? Is it, are you actually too scared by it? Are you too worried that like, you're not going to be able to afford it? Like to me, like, I feel like you have to look inside and see, like if you're really being true to you about what it is that you actually want. Okay. Or you may find like, you may have some doubts and you're like, Oh, maybe I don't really want it. That may be some things that you need to work on. Okay. But so I feel like communication, you have to really be true to yourself so that you can like put it out to the universe so you can actually get exactly what you want. 
I also feel like if you are, um, I'm, 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 I just got this vision in my head. Like if you're about to like go to an interview, uh, for a new job or whatnot, be clear on what it is you want. Or if, if you're confused maybe by what the interviewer says, ask the questions. Okay. So you can have clarity. Uh, communication is going to play a big role in the changes you want to make in your life. All right. And that's over just the next few months, I feel like. Not just during a new moon. The next few cards we have here is from the Psychic Tarot deck. I'm so happy this came up. So number two, Spiritual Union. Mm, 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 mm. 16 or a seven, Disruption. Eight, Trapped in Fear. Okay, y'all got to curb that anxiety right there. So the reason I'm so happy this card came up is, um, is so for pile number one, star number one, and for number two, and I said this in number two, there's a theme of love working its way through these cards. Okay, love came up for one, love came up for two, and I, and I said, I was like, because I didn't look at these cards as I picked them. I just pick them. They're up, you know, they're face down. I just pick them. Um, and I said, oh, I hope love comes in for number three. I want that theme to keep going. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Love is coming in for you guys, but there's still some work that you need to do. Okay. I also feel with this new love coming in that it is going to disrupt your life a little bit. Uh, that it, whoever this person is, is a bit of a change agent. Okay. Change agent. Do you get that? Like they're just someone who sparks change in their own lives and other people's lives. Okay. They get, they get people moving to wherever they're supposed to be. I noticed over the years, I'm a change agent. Um, so don't be surprised if like you meet someone and for all you know, you know, a month later and you guys are like hitting off, right? And a month later, all of a sudden they move and you're like, shit, what do I do? And it, that, that, that disrupts your life and you, you, you're in fear and you're, this is like, I don't know, man, this is a very specific, maybe this will apply to just a few of you, but this is very specific right now. So that, you know, you meet someone and literally like the two of you are like, no, we're going to be together, but then they have to move for a job or whatever. Okay. Some fear disruption enters your life, obviously. Uh, but if the two of you really want to be together, I mean, then you will be, but maybe that gives you the chance to move. Maybe, I mean, if you were already looking to move and this person is like, Hey, I'm moving. So go follow them. Go move in with them. It will, it may disrupt your life, but there's a lot of luck along the way. 16 reduces to a seven. Seven is all about luck. Eight is the number of abundance. Eight is wealth. So it's kind of like, and it's interesting that they're on these two cards, right? But it's like, if you can move past this, right? You will receive that. Does that make sense? That's the obstacle. Oftentimes, the obstacle is the way, like the way you have to go, you have to go through the obstacle. All right. So whoever this person is that's coming in for you, you're going to be freaking awesome. I'll tell you that. Okay. You have love coming in for you, but it is going to, in some way, change something in your life. I feel like they're going to be very different than what you're used to anyways. That's a good thing. Um, but understand like if you, if you think that there's an obstacle between you and this person really being together, there really isn't guys. Okay. There really isn't. Get out of your damn head. Get out of your freaking head. All right. Like work through the obstacle because you're going to come into the luck and the abundance. Yeah. Shut your ego and your anxiety up. Next card we have here is from the natural enchantments deck. It's a winter card. 11. I love the number 11 footprints. Um, I don't know if you can really see it in these. There we go. Now I can see it. Um, forging a new path. I'm hearing, I'm also hearing the word legacy as well, leaving a legacy. So you may be starting like a new line of work that ends up leaving a legacy for like you and your family and others or whatnot. But I also get what this is like forging a new path, um, going in a new direction. It's going to bring a lot of balance. Okay. And 11 itself is also just, um, a master number. It's a very powerful number. Um, but so I just, I, there's a lot of power behind this new direction. So just go with it. Okay. If you, if an opportunity presents itself to you, it's supposed to be there. Like I've already said, it's supposed to be there. Um, so just go with it. I love that. 
Next card we have here is from the Universal Wisdom deck, Release. Yeah, you guys are releasing and letting go of just old life. You are an old life. You're letting go of a relationship. You're letting go of a place to live. You're letting go of a, a job that no longer works for you anymore. Like a new life is at hand for you. It can't come in because you haven't released the old life yet. There's no room for it. Emotionally, mentally, hell, maybe even physically. Um, you're in releasing. I also feel some of you uh, emotion wise are coming is, a lot of emotions coming up to the surface they could be like just deeply rooted from your childhood from years ago hell from birth like just a lot of things coming to the surface so you may find your health kind of being like the fuck is going on but that's also just your body working it out okay trying to release it's not a bad thing it's healing um, I'm hearing it's very temporary okay not much longer a lot of growth with this card. That's what's definitely written in the stars for you. Love and growth. Um, you're working through the growth now, which is great. It's going to lead to better things, okay? So what you find is the obstacle. I said the obstacle is the way. What you find may be an obstacle. Continue to work through that, okay? Continue to work with it. Because then once you do, it's like your world opens up. I love it. Let's pull a fortune for you guys. Every truly great accomplishment is at first impossible. It seems that way, doesn't it though? Like, I, so I think it was in the first pile where um, a moonology card said something about like, believe in the impossible or something like that. Or something, yeah, it was something like that. Um, and, but that's very true though. Like if dream of the impossible because things can't manifest in the physical world until it's created first energetically. All right, so dream big. Get yourself out there as much as you can, okay? And really believe yourself. Believe that you deserve it. If you don't believe, if you don't believe you actually deserve what you're dreaming of, you won't actually ever get it. Um, so, but I like that. Every truly great accomplishment is at first impossible, or at least it seems that way. Just take the first step. What you'll need to do next will come to you. All right, just... Surrender and just take the first step and you will accomplish what you what you set out for. All right You guys get numbers the other two didn't get numbers because I had different types of fortunes for them 5 10 17 54 49 23 Okay, so Hope you guys enjoyed these messages. Thank you for being here um, if you would Give this video a like, comment on it, share it with others, subscribe to my channel. I would totally appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.